Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Crack of Pack series. Today we are opening up a fairly newer set of Dragons of Tarkir. Uh, not too much in the way of value, though I will say uh, there are quite a, well, a few cards, I guess, that I'd be interested in opening. Collected Company is always a good pull. In addition, uh, Colgon's Command and really any of the Dragon Lords are actually not bad. Uh, I believe Dramoka is actually sitting at the highest value right now. Uh, but Ojitai is great, uh, as well as Slumdog, of course, being one of my favorites. Uh, so we'll see what we get. Hopefully we pull something interesting, uh, but we will, of course, go through every single card. So starting off, we have a Culligan Aspirant, a Lightwalker, Anticipate, a great draw spell, a uh, Colossodon Yearling, a Reckless Imp, an Elusive Spell Fist. Oops. An Artful Maneuver, an Airy Bowmasters, Vandalize, Foul Tongue Shriek, and our first uncommon is Culligan Forerunners, an Orator of Ojitai, Orator of Ojitai, excuse me, Tapestry of the Ages, and our rare is a Dim Protector, so actually not a bad card. Uh, Dim Protector is a creature for one and a green, it is a 2 1 human warrior. Uh, creatures with power less than Dim Protector's power cannot block it. It also has Megamorph for one and a green, which says you can cast this card face down as a 2-2 creature for three. Uh, turn it face up uh, at any time for its Megamorph cost and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, Megamorph was sort of the evolution of just plain morph, which was of course an older mechanic. Uh, it says when Dim Protector is turned face up, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. So really a lot of utility on a very cheap creature. Uh, this is actually a card that we saw quite a bit of play with uh, during the Dragons of Tarkir standard. Uh, so really, really happy to see that, honestly. I've actually been wanting to complete a play set of these, and they're not super expensive by any means, but it's, a, it's not a bad pull, honestly, from a set that has quite a lot of bad pulls, if we're being honest. So happy to see that. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. If you would like, go ahead and subscribe to our, to our channel for notifications about all of our content. We have these, obviously. We have our Card Spotlight and, of course, our podcast episodes coming up every single week. You can vote on and participate basically anywhere from YouTube to social media, wherever you'd like. So thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.